Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll talk about schemas. So this is one of the most requested video. So we are trying to explain here the type of schemas and the one which is most widely used in the projects. To start with schemas, so what exactly is a schema is? The proper way of arranging your fact and dimension tables. Now you may ask me what is this fact and dimension table now before even we jump onto the schema we'll try to understand what is a fact table and what is a dimension table now in most of the cases if you take a fact table your fact table is a table which will have the actual business data now what is the actual business data example could be profit sales revenue so these are all the key values which determine your business so that is being grouped as fact table now if you see towards the left side of the table we have the actual information called sales cost or profit that is happening over different dates so this is a very good example of fact table now if that is fact table what is dimension table so if you say dimension table dimension table can be called as a lookup table for example if you see the right side of two table what exactly we have we have the country information like canada france united kingdom germany and we do have a segments but if you understand this it is just the lookup table where you have a id map to this categorical data so usually in a dimension table you will find the categorical data that is mapped to an index and that you will be connecting with your fact table so this is a meaning of dimension table so remember most of the times categorical data will be pushed into dimension table whereas the actual business data like maybe profit sales revenue will be into the fact table now you got the clarity of fact table and dimension table now let's see what is this star schema this is a most widely used schema if you observe carefully we have a fact table just we now we discussed about the fact table and we also have a dimension table and the way the star schema is defined is every dimension table will be connected to fact table now this is how a star schema is defined if you observe this is being connected this is connected this is connected this is connected irrespective of how many dimension tables you have if every dimension table is connected to a fact table that schema is called star schema now is this the only schema available no there could be another way to connect as well the other type of schema if you see this is called snowflake schema now by observing this fact and dimension table you yourself can guess it what is this snowflake schema observe carefully there is a one fact table in between and there is a dimension table that is connected now this is what was a star schema but what extra thing we have one more extra information we have is dimension table is also connected to additional dimension table so if you observe carefully this is somehow different from star schema and it is defined as schema where the fact tables can be connected to dimension tables and dimension tables can also have few more dimension tables connected or you can also say that dimension table will be connected to fact table indirectly this is how you can define snowflake schema now let's see a practical example that we have let's see we have a practical example let's say this is a star schema now what is a star schema if you observe carefully this data is having sales or profit or maybe the business data and every dimension table maybe this is defined as a categorical date uh, category this is color this is country customer so if you observe carefully every dimension table is connected to a fact table this is called star schema now 
then what is snowflake schema so if you observe in snowflake schema if you observe in snowflake schema so let's say this is a fact table which is having the actual information this is connected this is connected this is connected but what you can see here is there is an another table that is connected to a geographic table and not to the fact table in this case a dimension table is connected to an another dimension table this is how it is called snowflake and here also you can see one more category is directly connected to subcategory and not connected to this fact table there can be situation where some of the data can behave like this where you will not have a relationship to the fact table but you will have a relationship between dimension to dimension that type of schema is called snowflake schema right so this is how it has been defined now this is a one common interview question as well most of the time they will ask you what modeling you have implemented which is a uh, best optimized technique or which is easier so this is a difference if you observe carefully as we talked about star schema it is fact table surrounded by dimension table whereas here fact table surrounded by dimension table which also can be surrounded by the dimension table this is a very very important point and when you consider there's only one join is enough because you're trying to connect your fact table with all the dimension tables but in the snowflake schema what happens it may require multiple joins because a dimension table also has to be connected to another dimension table so it is required so this is a very simple design whereas it becomes a complex design and the most importantly star schema performs well it is a well optimized technique when you compare with your snowflake schema and the last one you should also remember is this is sometimes nowadays is being used this is uh, nowadays we are getting used to in most of the applications where it is called as a galaxy schema so some of them also call it as a bridge schema so even though if they ask a bridge schema or a galaxy schema this is how it is now we, since you already know snowflake schema and star schema by observing this itself you can get to know that how exactly this is happening you can see there are more than one fact table yes also if you see the fact table is connected to dimension tables this fact table is also connected to a dimension table but one common thing you have to understand is this dimension tables are like common so this two dimension table which is like a branch as well as the date it becomes a common dimension table between these two fact tables so this schema is also called galaxy schema or bridge schema it is also called galaxy schema or bridge schema where how it is defined it is a schema where it is having more than one fact table and there is a common dimension table that is connected to this fact tables this is how galaxy schema is used so nowadays uh, in most of the applications we are getting a use case like this so try to understand what is a star schema what is a snowflake schema and what is a galaxy schema remember this this three are very important thank you for watching